What is up, NFL fans? Welcome to Rebus Talk Sports. Week one is finally here, and I'm sure we've been all waiting for football to start since the end of the Super Bowl game. This video, I will be giving you my money line version of week one predictions. So let's hop into the video with the first game Thursday night between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. If I were to choose between these two teams, I'm going Moneyline Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs pretty much brings back the same team that they had last year. Meanwhile, the Baltimore Ravens did have some moving parts during the offseason. Defensive coordinator is now the head coach of the Seahawks. Patrick Queen has gone to the Steelers. Geno Stone, Cincinnati Bengals. And they do have a bit of a brand new offensive line as there are three new offensive linemen. Their great signing that they had in the offseason is Derrick Henry. I do expect them to ground and pound the game, but I just think with this home field advantage, they're going to want to win the game with the ring ceremony, and they're going to have that quest to 3 P and win on prime time. So I'm going to have to give the home team the W, Kansas City Chiefs, money line. With the second game, Friday Night Light in Brazil, we have the Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers. Both teams actually have brand new defensive coordinators, so it's definitely going to be up in the air of how those defenses are going to look. The Philadelphia Eagles have a brand new offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore, so the offense will be a little different. They do have a key signing to, to boost up the running back room and Saquon Barkley from the New York Giants. So pretty much the Philadelphia Eagles team have the offense to be Super Bowl contenders. How is this defense going to be, especially of how they kind of came crashing down this past season? It's going to be a tough game. I expect some sloppiness the first game, especially in an international game in Brazil. Um, I'm going to have to go with the first upset of week one. I'm going to have to go Green Bay Packers plus 120. I do expect that the Packers will bring that offensive momentum into the new season as the Philadelphia Eagles kind of have to figure out how to gel with the new offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. And I think there's two, a little bit of a, a bit of unknowns right now of how the Eagles are going to look with the new coaching staff. So I'll give the slight edge right now to the Green Bay Packers plus 120. Okay, now we're going to start with the Sunday 1 o'clock slates. First game we have is the Cincinnati Bengals versus the New England Patriots. As long as Joe Burrow is healthy, I do expect the Bengals to have a win pretty much almost every game. Um, as long as Bo, uh, Joe Burrow is healthy, Jamar Chase is playing, I don't see the New England Patriots having enough firepower to beat the Bengals, especially at home. And the Patriots are kind of looking like a top five NFL draft pick this next season. So I think in week one, I'm going to have to give the money line to the Cincinnati Bengals. Very, very heavy price. So if you want to combine it with another team on the money line to kind of decrease the odds so it's not as big of a heavy money line hit, you're more than welcome to do so. So Cincinnati Bengals money line. Arizona Cardinals versus the Buffalo Bills. We have the Arizona Cardinals traveling to Buffalo. And I do think this will be a very interesting game. Um, the Buffalo Bills, brand new wide receiver room, brand new defense. Sucks that they have Matt Milano hurt. That's, he is a key part to that linebacker room and defense. And then we have the Arizona Cardinals coming in. Rookie wide receiver. Are we going to see the health of Kyler Murray? This team is looking very sneaky. The Cardinals are looking very sneaky this upcoming season. They could be heavy sleepers. Um, but what I'm going to do with this game is give me the juice. I'll take the Arizona Cardinals. I'll go with the upset at Buffalo. I think it might take him a few weeks for Buffalo to kind of get things rolling with the new wide receiver room and new defense. That's a bit revamped. So this team is going through a mini, mini revamp mode at the moment. I do think that the Cardinals are going to want to prove something this upcoming season. So I'm going with the second upset in week one, Arizona Cardinals beating the Buffalo Bills. Next game we have is the Houston Texans versus the Indianapolis Colts. And I am going to give this game money line to the Houston Texans. Um, the Indianapolis Colts' pass defense wasn't the best this past season. And you don't want to go into a game where you have an MVP candidate and CJ Shroud. Now they have Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Dalton Schultz, Joe Mixon. There's a lot of offensive power. And if you don't have that defensive power to stop that pass game, I think 
this is going to be a game where CJ Stroud may light the defense up a little bit. So I'm going to have to give the money line to the Houston Texans. Um, I think the Colts could have a good season, but I think week one is a bit too much of offensive power for the Colts to handle. So I'm going to go Houston Texans money line. Now we have the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Miami Dolphins. Both Florida teams, a little in-state rival game going on. We have Trevor Lawrence, who signed that big contract coming into the upcoming season, as well as Tua Tagovailoa signing that big contract. I am going to give it to the Miami Dolphins money line. Tough, tough game. I kind of, to me, it feels like a little bit of a flip coin game. Um, but this game, I honestly think this game could go a bit either way. Um, but I'm gonna have to take the Miami. Dolphins at home. They're pretty much a dominant team when playing at home. They don't lose that much at home. So I'm going to go give it to the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins start off hot and win the first game at home in Miami. Next, we have the Tennessee Titans versus the Chicago Bears. Tennessee Titans looking like a little bit of a sleeper team. A lot of people are not expecting the Titans to do any good or any better this upcoming season but they have a nice wide receiver trio core and DeAndre Hopkins Calvin Ridley Tyler Boyd new co new head coach new offensive coordinator and Derrick Henry is gone I think this will be a very pass happy team this upcoming season um it's up in the air if DeAndre Hopkins will play so I don't think he might stay on that injury report to see how that's looking but if DeAndre Hopkins isn't playing this might be a big hit to your offensive offensive side of the ball for the Tennessee Titans. I am probably going to give it to the Chicago Bears at home. Caleb Williams gets his first win as an NFL starter as he comes into the league as a rookie. I think the Bears are going to do just enough to beat the Tennessee Titans, and I think they'll grab this game at home. So give me the Bears money line. Next game, the Minnesota Vikings versus the New York Giants. Honestly, this game is kind of looking like the battle of who the battle of the last place in the division game. I mean, I don't think the Vikings will have the best season this upcoming season, such with Sam Darnold at quarterback and the New York Giants. Don't think there's much for me to say, especially if you guys are NFL fans. I'm sure you know what I'm thinking about the New York Giants. So let's not put too, too much information on that. Um, but I'm going to have to give the money line to the Minnesota Vikings. I think with Saquon Barkley leaving, um, that's a big blow for this offense. Statistically, when Saquon Barkley was on the field, he gave the Giants the best chance to score touchdowns that he was not on the field. It's up in the air of how this Giants team is going to look offensively without Saquon Barkley. How is the secondary going to be? I do think that the New York Giants edge rushers, especially with Dexter Lawrence, they're going to cause havoc to offensive linemen, and they're actually going to give Sam Darnold some trouble. Um, but I just don't think that Daniel Jones can handle the Brian Flores pressure as he did lead the NFL in most blitz called on defense. I just don't think Daniel Jones has what it takes to kind of um, maintain or level out that Brian, Lo Brian Flores defense. So I'm going to give it to the Minnesota Vikings money line. Now we got the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Atlanta Falcons. Pittsburgh Steelers, Falcons. I am going to give the money line to the Atlanta Falcons with um, Arthur Smith gone and they have the new new head coach, no offensive coordinator. I think this is where this is B. John Robinson's game. Kirk is coming back from an injury, inj injury, but I don't expect them to put a lot on his shoulder, especially in week one. So I think this is going to be a B. John Robinson heavy game. And the Falcons did get edge rusher Matthew Judon, Justin Simmons. And I do not like this quarterback situation with the Pittsburgh Steelers, as I won't be surprised if there's a pick or two from the quarterback room from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Falcons money line. Next game, Carolina Panthers versus the New Orleans Saints. I'm going to come with a shocker. I'm going to go upset. Give me the Carolina Panthers win over the, over the New Orleans Saints. Um, the Panthers, I think they're going to do a lot better than they did last year. They have a new head coach, Dan Canales. I think he's going to help Bryce Young out a lot, especially in terms of his development. They did trade 
for Deontay Johnson. So they did give him some weapons on top of having a great draft class this offseason, which is pretty solid in um, rebuilding what they're going to rebuild. And the New Orleans Saints, yes, they have Derek Carr. Um, I think the offensive line gotten better, but I just – I don't I'm not I don't trust Derek Carr. I'm sorry. Especially with the Panthers that have a pretty solid pass defense. Let me go upset one of the week one upsets I got here. Carolina Panthers over the New Orleans Saints. Next, we got the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. I am going to give it to the Seattle Seahawks. New head coach Mike McDonald. I think he's going to um add a new voice to this team. I think the offense is going to get clicking, especially with this new offensive coordinator. Very pass happy. And I think Mike McDonald is going to settle in and get this run defense up to par and pretty much bring that Baltimore Ravens style defense over to the Seattle Seahawks. And I think this might be too much for Bo Nix in his first NFL game. So Seattle Seahawks money line. Next game, the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. I am going to take the Las Vegas Raiders, who are underdogs right now like on this team. Look, I just think that the Raiders are being overlooked right now in week one especially. Um, I think with Max Crosby, um, he's going to have a solid year. And they did get uh, Wilkins. So I think Wilkins and Max Crosby is going to be a solid duo on the defensive line. And... Even though the Raiders quarterback situation isn't the best, but I just think that the Raiders will do just enough to squeak out a win against the Chargers. So I'll go another upset. Give me Las Vegas Raiders over the Chargers. We got Dallas Cowboys versus the Cleveland Browns. I am going money line here, and I am going to select the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns are honestly the most, probably one of the most dominant defenses at home if you're playing at cleveland their defense is pretty much going to lock you down and pretty much they had i think they had the best defense statistically when playing at home dallas cowboys going to cleveland with land being your pretty much only option on offense that gives you the best chance to score touchdowns and move the ball i do expect the browns to kind of shut lamb down and make and force dak to look elsewhere and i think that's going to be trouble for this Cowboys offense. So I'm going money line Cleveland Browns. Next, we got the Commanders versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I am going to go money line Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I just think that they have a nice solid core, pretty much brought everything back. Pretty much the same team last year. Um the run game wasn't the best. I do expect it to be a little bit better with Grant Barton at center. They have a nice, you know, running back duo in Rashad White, Bucky Irving, Mike Evans is there. And I just think that it's going to probably take Jaden Daniels a few weeks to settle in in his rookie role. I do expect him to have a solid game against the Buccaneers, but I just think that the first week rookie rookie mistakes may happen. Um, so I'm going to give it to the home team, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, money line. Next, we got the Los Angeles Rams versus the Detroit Lions. I am taking money line Detroit Lions. When golf and the Lions are playing at home, they're another team that's pretty dominant at home. And especially with golf playing indoors, I like this Lions team to get the W at home against Matthew Stafford, the former Lions quarterback. Um, even though the Lions pass defense was suspect and Stafford does have a capability to shred it a bit, um, I just like the Lions at home. They play really, really well at home. So Lions, money line at home. New York Jets versus the San Francisco 49ers. Last game of week one. We Does Aaron Rodgers stay healthy? Can he play the full game instead of going down after three or four snaps, which it was a serious injury. His Achilles did tear against the 49ers at home. This is a very, very tough game. Um, a lot of people are, are expecting a blowout. I don't think it'll be a blowout because at the end of the day, the Jets have one of the top tier defenses as well. Um, but I'm going to have to take money line 49ers in this game. They just have a lot of options on offense. Ayuk, Debo, Kittle, CMC, Brack, uh, Brock Purdy is starting to get there. And he's looking like a franchise quarterback for this franchise. And he's pretty much due for an extension, most likely after the season. So 
I think that um, the 49ers will take the first game at home, but it will be a close game. It will be, I think this game may go under a touchdown. I think it'll be a close game, but I think the 49ers home field, I just going to have to give them that edge. San Francisco 49ers money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please give the video a like and comment below on your predictions on the money line. And on this upcoming Friday, I'll be doing a spread version. Thank you so much and catch you next time.